welcome tonight again to the link and we bring back fashion and business we don't just talk fashion but business and tonight my guest is um, well known santa anzo of the arapapa fashion house she has many accolades uh, most influential women in 2016 uh, icon for ilo 2014 there are so many santa i don't have time to read all of them but welcome to the show thank you uh, let's start immediately, uh, and we're in the shadow of the international, Uganda International Fashion Week. Yeah, that's right. Soon. But let's ask first. Fashion. When I hear fashion, I think catwalks and glamour. <laughs> is that all what, that it is? Well, fashion is just like any other business, mm. like, you know, petroleum and gas, okay. like, you know transport mm. and agriculture, mm. like communication and tourism, like finance and banking. Mm. Fashion is a multi-billion dollar industry okay. waiting to be tapped. In Africa mm. and especially in Uganda, mm. we have not done that. So we only know the glamour, mm. the glitz, the beautiful models, the paparazzi, mm. and all the, the, the matters. Mm. That is our strategy. That okay. is a tip of what fashion really is. Okay. Let's enter into the ecosystem. Um, the things that lie behind the catwalks and the, and what we see uh, the women and men put on. I think that's where the catch is. What happens behind there? And I think that's the interest. <laughs> I, 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 I love that. And I will simply say that the ecosystem is comprehensive. Mm. In Uganda, we are there. We are very informal, you know, sector. Yeah. Uh, we are surviving, mm. but Already, you need to take a walk yeah. in the CBD. Go downtown, Kiembe, mm. Owino. Mm. Look at the impact of mm. the garment, textile, fashion industry. Mm. It is wide. We have tailors. Yeah. We have seamstresses. We have guys that just do the cutting. Mm. We have those that do the ironing. And then, just like petroleum, just like communication, mm -hmm. you guys, mm -hmm. we have you know, all the various departments that support us. Yeah. We have uh, the accounting, the marketing, the PR, and then, you know, the visionaries, mm -hmm. the CEOs and all, and then the production team that mm -hmm. is very important for us. The ecosystem is huge. Okay. I was just saying to my team mm -hmm. that we used to think action, yeah. apart from, you know, in our workshops in Arapapa and my various colleagues, yeah. we used to think that the, the action is in Kiembe. No, it has moved. I drive along Tinder and mm. I can see that almost every store mm. is a fashion store. And then driving down from Bukoto down to Kisasi, mm. that entire line is a fashion hub, mm -hmm. you know. And then you go down to Kabala Gala mm. and Zambia, mm. there's an entire fashion hub there, Munyonyo too. So the ecosystem is huge, it's comprehensive. Fashion is capable of employing the unemployed of Africa, and especially in Uganda. Okay. Yes. Now a young lady or young man is listening to you and saying, oh, tio, Santa is on TV, let me hear. Uh, <laughs> how can I thrive? Those people have described as small, and you said we are not quite organized. To start with, it starts with individuals. How do I thrive? I may not reach Santa, maybe. Maybe I can. But how do I thrive where I am, first of all? Let me first of all tell you that this Santa you're seeing today mm. is a work of over, well, I've been in the industry for 17 years yeah. legally, yeah. but this is a work of over probably 22 years. So it takes quite a lot. Mm. But like they say, and this is what you will hear every, yeah. you know, uh, motivational mm -hmm. speaker or, mm -hmm. or, or um, a personal skills motivator mm. or speaker or trainer yeah. say that it takes passion mm. it takes passion thriving is the end game thriving is that light in the tunnel mm. which i'm still seeing mm. right but before that it takes the hard hard work i call and it great mm. great mm. and i was <laughs> Every evening, I call my mentors uh, all over the world. Yeah. I have one right now in Arua, mm. uh, and uh, he works in Kampala, but he's in Arua. He's an international consultant. Yeah. I have one at the World Bank, a Ugandan there. Mm. I have one in South Africa. I have some here. Mm. And I, I call them every evening to give them feedback, and I say, guys, mm. this business is not, is not, not, not for the 
Faint-hearted. Faint-hearted. Thank mm, you. That's mm, the word. It's mm. not for the faint-hearted. How come? Leaps and bounds. Mm. Right now, I'm running the Uganda International Fashion Week yeah. on a budget that is huge. Mm. And Ara Papa, mm. from my sales of clothing, mm. shirts and dresses, mm. I am powering the industry through Uganda International yes. Fashion Week. Yeah. It is... <laughs> It is almost laughable that an industry so huge mm. has not been tapped into. So you find that to raise the budgets that are, are needed, I mean, we are running it on a very small budget con uh, 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 compared to other fashion weeks in the world. Mm. This is just a, a 350 million budget. Wow. And out of that, I can tell you that right now, Arapapa is footing <laughs> beyond what we should be footing but we are happy to have other partners mm. you know like the uganda tourism board and pluscon yeah. you know kansai pluscon a color your world they, they will charge you for they will charge you for advertising there oh, oh. <laughs> go on you have to you have to excuse my excitement but mm. this is what this is how i get when i talk about fashion mm. and those that tap into it now passion is number one you mentioned passion is number one discipline Discipline is key, mm. and discipline simply means consistency. Mm. It simply means that you promise something, and Samuel, you've got to keep you it. You deliver. You must deliver. Come rain, come shine. Mm. I won't stand on this platform and say, look, I'm pulling this off because mm. so-and-so didn't help me. No, it takes personal initiative, mm. personal convictions. And about the thriving question yes. still, I will tell you that for me every day, has been a thrive mm. it's been a celebration why be whether i make money or not mm. whether i am in the news or not i am happy because i'm living my dream this is a call to actually ensure that the sector of fashion in uganda takes off not only takes off that it is promoted mm. it is supported and it blossoms so if i am a person listening now i'm a young person maybe i've started I need to have two things, Sandra. I had you there. Consistency and passion. passion. It's very. If I don't have those two, and, and, and discipline in a way, because I yeah. need to keep there. Yeah. Now, is fashion uh, uh, studied? Is it a talent? <laughs> well, uh, can I land at school and just fly? Well, where will I go? I will say that both are mm. very helpful. Yeah. In my case, it's a talent. Yeah. And uh, to back it up, mm. I went to school as well. So you need talent with school? School is very important. Mm. In fact, I'm always speaking to parents mm. because most of my fans, you won't believe it, but even those in kindergarten yeah. are looking to be the next Tara Papa. Okay, that's and nice. I always tell the, the parents, yeah. it's okay, we can start the talks, mm. but school is very important. I've paid the hard price. So talent keeps you going it's what you love so <laughs> when i used to be a model the mm. first time i was paid four thousand shillings now wow. i have to pay my models hundreds of thousands times have changed but yeah, yeah, yeah. thank god yeah. but even then yeah. four thousand mm. wasn't such a big deal but mm. it was something i could buy my deal i could buy myself you know lotion mm. i could buy some earrings mm. so um when i was paid my first four thousand shillings yeah i was in shock I actually didn't even bother the organizers for payment. Mm. I wasn't there when the strike for payments happened. I was just called to say, come and pick up your money. I said, money for what? That you're being paid for the... I said, what? I had a blast. So you I were, enjoyed myself. You, you were in, and I'm being paid for it. You were <laughs> in where you love and nothing mattered. Time is running out on our center. Oh, you wow. contend that local and regional markets can work better for local cloth designers. How so? Focused on local and and reg regional well let me just tell you that uh, the fashion industry yeah. the global fashion apparel industry mm. is valued i i don't know if i said that at the beginning but it's valued at 726 billion dollars yeah china is leading with 36.5 percent out of that wow. then we have turkey we have india we mm. have uh the f uh, the french italy bangladesh you know all mm. there however africa yeah the 10 biggest exporters in Africa, according to statistics mm. from ADB, mm. contribute only 0.5% okay. to that. Again, mm. it's chi China, 36.5%. And yet, mm. this is the most painful <laughs> um, uh, uh, a statistic for mm. me that given those statistics, 
Africa's biggest 10 contribute only 0.5%. Yeah. And yet Africa grows the world's cotton. 10% of the world's cotton. We cannot just So we can keep turn that slaving. around. Yes. So can, can Ugandans afford yes. what Santa for instance makes? Yes, Ugandans can. My biggest, you see, there's there's a there's a belief that oh, Arapapa by Santa Anzo mm. is a, a brand for only the white people. Mm, it's a perception. Mean, you know. Yeah, I fly, I do all those promos, yeah. you know. But my base is Uganda. Mm. My clients have kept the fashion industry powered because they pay for my clothing. In the last one and a half minutes, that have been indicated we're running out of time on the fashion week. This year, you say fashion for business. How so? Fashion for business because I want to, you know, I, I will say mm. that the biggest cheerleader of this industry till, you know, the later dates has been His Excellency the President. Yes. You can see he gave me an award there yeah, because yeah. he's so passion, he's mm. so talent, he's so commitment and consistency. And when I present the, uh, the topic of fashion to ministries, yeah. I am looked at as, you know, oh, this model, oh, he loves this model. No, he sees the vision of the mm. industry. The business, like I said, is yeah. able to absorb all our unemployed. Uganda is the youngest. Mm. We keep saying Uganda is the youngest economy in the world. It still is. 73% mm. of us is youth. Mm. And out of that, 80 are unemployed. Mm. We have the visuals, we have the excitement. Youth go where it's exciting, yeah. where they're able to make a quick buck. Mm. My tailors are paid more than all of us at Arapapa. Imagine. They are mostly youth. Mm. They are women, they are working with us. This is a sector for the unemployed youth, it's a sector for the women. And that is why we're talking the business of fashion. So that's the we cause for this fashion you, week. Mm. Yes. This fashion week is no longer about you know, beauty mm. and, 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 and the catwalk and the razzmatazz. We will give that to you to excite you. But it's but about livelihood. It's about livelihood. It's about income. It's about transformation. It's about transforming the economy of our nation to benefit you and I, mm. all of us. Okay. Thank Santa, they, they're killing me there. Ah. The time is running out. Thank you so much, Santa. Um, yes, yeah, always short. Yes, I want to come back. <laughs> we need to conclude this. <laughs> that was the link. Uh, thank you very much for joining us tonight. You had Santa, time is never enough. I'm singing that song. Maybe they'll give me more time one day and we have more of people like her. Thank you. Thank uh, you. We are talking fashion this um, today and how money can be made in the fashion week coming up in August. Thank you very much for yeah. joining us. That was the link. Thanks.